How's it going guys? Welcome back. One of the most well-known commentators in the wrestling business, Jim Ross, has signed a three-year deal with AEW. And today, we're going to go over some pros. We're going to go over some cons of Jim Ross signing with AEW. Now, Jim Ross had said it was the most lucrative deal in wrestling history for a commentator, but a number was never actually stated. But what are some things to be worried about with this signing? I think the biggest concern here is this. It's the money. JR67 getting paid the best there is, quite simply put, which is great. I'm very happy for Jim Ross, but... It also means AEW is just throwing money around. Throwing money around recklessly is what brings back flashbacks of WCW. But let's look at the pros of this signing. Maybe this money being thrown around isn't quite as reckless as we may be thinking. Yes, it was a lot of money, but was it worth it? JR and Jerry the King Lawler was one of the best commentating duos of all time. And what a lot of wrestling fans are learning today is we take some things for granted until we don't have them anymore. And today's commentary isn't near as good as it used to be, some would say. And the storytelling of a commentator can make the match. Just as much as the wrestlers in the ring can make the match, the storytelling of the commentator can make the match. And JR was one of the best at it. For that, I think AEW sees that. I think they look at that and say, it's important. We have a good commentator. They're paying to have the best presentable content possible. You know, wrestlers at the end of the day, they fight 10, 20 minutes a show. The commentator is out there all night. It's important that it's one fans enjoy listening to every single day and night. And the other thing is when we talk about enjoy listening to that, it is important to keep in mind the Ross Report Podcast. On YouTube alone, JR has nearly 40,000 subscribers and is continuing to grow. That means what? More quote-unquote free promotion for AEW. More fans of JR that will watch AEW because he is there, just like people will watch AEW because Chris Jericho is there. We see this we see the same trickle down effect here, except we also once again another podcast show that can bring in more fans, more viewers. So from a business standpoint, AEW made a great call here. As long as JR hasn't lost the beat, he can be a great ambassador to helping AEW grow and out in and out of the ring. Plus, the AEW way so far has seemed to be bringing an older experience guy. Let the younger, newer guys kind of learn off that older experience guy. And it'll definitely be interesting to see if they go this route with JR's commentating partner, who would inevitably be the future, more than likely, of the AEW commentating team. As for this video, though, guys, let me know what you guys are thinking about the signing of JR. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.